Hi, everybody. Oh, Anissa. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's Kara Lockwood with Kara's Color Me Vintage. I'm a creative life coach, DIY retailer, crazy creative person. Um, I am here tonight and I'm super, super excited. So whenever you all pop on, just let me know. We are live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube. Hi, Heather Watson. Um, Anissa, you're not in the studio anymore. So come back in the studio whenever you get a chance. Come back to me, girl. Come back to me. So I'm super excited. I want to show you a few things um, and tell you what we're going to do today. So if you all know Anissa from Miss and That and Leah from Leah Noel Designs, they have a new company called Bubblegum Yum. And this is one of the girls and one of the Bumblegum Yum products. And I did this chair today and I'm hooked. It's rad. Is that so cool, you guys? So I'm going to show you how to do this and how to do the iron on decoupage method. I started doing that about two years. And Myra was here. Say hi, Myra. Hello. I started doing that about two years ago and I've never gone back. I've never done it any other way. And it is the only way I'll do it. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but we're going to grab Anissa on, there's Anissa. We're going to grab her so you can say hi to her and she can tell you a little bit about her company and then we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. There she is. There she is. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what happened? Anissa, try that one more time. Oh my gosh. what I do? Anissa, can you try that one more time? She was there and I pressed the wrong button. I do this all the time. I don't know what's going on. Something crazy. We'll see if we can hear her. Oh, and I forgot my iPhone, my, my headphones. So I'm on the little table okay, in my bedroom. Know. So, okay. So I'll keep on talking until I see, there she is. Okay. I'll press the right button this time. Okay. There you are. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my God. Okay. One more time, Anissa. I'm sorry. You guys, she's coming and she's sitting there in the broadcast studio, but something's going on with my phone screen. And, um, okay. Okay. Something's weird right now. Try it one more time, Anissa. There we are. Okay, I see that you're there. And Anissa, add to stream. There it is. Okay, there we are. Third or fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Hello, Anissa. Look how beautiful hi. you look. Say, oh, hi well. to, say hi to Anissa. Myra hi. wants to say hi to you. Get your face in here, Myra. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good, good. I can see enough of you. <laughs> little glasses and a little head. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Hi. Oh, my gosh. It, look, it sounds like our sound's okay today, huh? I hope so because I don't have earbuds. In I fact, I don't think I even own them anymore. I don't know where they're at. Oh, yeah. Well, they never work anyways. So yeah. that's the thing. They always yeah. get feedback and all that. So I so happy. Did you see the chair? No. Look, look, look. Okay. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about Bubblegum Yum? And I'll show you my chair. Oh, my minute. goodness. You did not show me that. I didn't know you were doing that. Well, I did it just to kind of test it and play it out. And all I did was oh, that is cute. extended the black and light line, line, little lines with paint, but oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. This is going to go in my dining room because my dining room is pink and black and white. That's cute. I know. I would have never cute. thought to do it on a chair. Well, okay. So I'll tell you a funny story about this. The whole time I was doing this, I was laughing. We'll keep it up there so the folks can see how cool it is. I was laughing because... My, my brother, so we're in our, he's in his late 50s, we're in our 50s, and um, grew up in the 80s, and he was like, um, he was a, a total, like, really smart person, 
um, I want to say nerd, but he's also a punker at some times. And he listened to like Dead Kennedys and all that. And he had a button that he would wear on his jacket that said, sit on a happy face. <laughs> and so there you go. And so every time I see this chair, I just, I, I, I was doing it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so funny that like, she's going to get sat on. And she is going to get sat on. That's the downside. <laughs> literally, literally, that's the downside. <laughs> but oh, I thought that was funny. But yeah, you guys, these are so cool. Like, if you know Anissa, I mean, her art is amazing. And Anissa, you are the one of the ones, one of the people who inspired me to paint, I don't know, different paint different. Thank you. I mean, I, I appreciate that. That's always and... like the biggest compliment in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just try like funky things and like, um, I mean, just, just try funky things. I already like to try funky things, but your things are real. Funky. I have a feeling that was probably a lifelong thing for you. <laughs> I'm a little funky. I think it's your vibe. <laughs> I wore this shirt for you because I thought you would like Oh my it. gosh. That's great. <laughs> ish <laughs> yes adult ish um okay tell everybody a little bit about the uh a lot of people are on here but you guys since we're on stream yard it's just so hard to read the comments but myra will ask any questions if there's questions and then we'll go back and look at them um but please send this out to cyberland and share the love Oop, I'm not supposed to say that but i don't care um but why don't you go ahead and tell everybody about the papers and the situation and how it came about and all that while i have a sip of wine not like wordsy by any means. I'm pretty much, a, so if you probably have questions, I just started painting. I went to my best business buddy and I was like, I really want these to be something other people can put on furniture. And that's Leah, Leah Noel Design Co. And we started, we did the Hot Mess Mom show way back, you know, well, yes. way back, like it was 30 years ago. It was two years ago. <laughs> In the olden days. The olden days. And I asked her if she could do something to kind of help me promote. And she goes, I've got a better idea. How about we come out with like a line that I can help you, like things that I want to put on my furniture, things I think my, you know, people and everyone kind of wants to see something different out there. And I was like, okay. And so I was originally just going to come out with like my portrait series that I had done. Mm -hmm. And she had pushed me to do something completely new and different um well i'd already been inspired by kind of that retro yep. feel yep. but she wanted that and so she gave me some ideas and we went with it and i had two months to come up with the five designs i actually had like eight or nine of them <laughs> wow there's some rejects <laughs> but we do hope to come out with three more by the end of the year for this okay. collection so i know it was a total surprise because you know, I hadn't seen any glimmers or anything, you know. Nope. So, wow. She would let me, all of a sudden, she's been she working would let me, hard. She's the brains. She's the, she, she does all the, that kind of work. Yeah. I just, you know, I'm creating, but she was like, I, I have to do something. I have to have content on my page. I've got nothing. And yeah. she's like, well, let's go ahead and do um, nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> You're not putting a single thing up there. We're going to ambush the, you know. The yeah. world out there, the furniture world, and just let it be a complete surprise. So that yeah. was the hardest thing. I can't even tell my kids what they're not going to get, like, or what they're going to get for Christmas, anything like that. Right. right. Always you tell keep, them. Keep the secret. You kept it good. It. You kept it good. I can keep big secrets. Don't be afraid to tell me them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an open book, so I don't have any secrets. Everybody knows that. I know. I'm the same way. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we are going to do iron on decoupage tonight. So I know nothing about me, this. I'm so I, excited. I'm shocked. It's like I I I mean I can't say I decoupage a lot, but I have done a, you know a, a good amount. And when once I started this, I mean I think every time I tried to decoupage on furniture before iron on, I ripped it off and sanded it off because I was just like no no I cannot I cannot yep. have the wrinkles in the wrong places and all of yep. that you know. And or the bleed through or, or what have you. So once I did this, I've never gone back. Okay. So we ready? I can't wait. I'm just gonna be watching, taking notes. 
<laughs> okay. Awesome. I am going to turn the camera down, you guys, and I'm going to turn the iron on, and we're going to get started. It's going to, the iron, we'll have to chat for a few minutes while the iron gets, um, well, Is that what you did on your chair? That was a good view. What? Yes, I did. It I is. <laughs> no, that's not good. Okay, let me turn it down. <laughs> okay, we just got to get this. So I just have a mid-century modern table that it's just a plank of wood that I bought at Lowe's. Is that on the table? No, they just want corner. Hmm? Oh, okay. So it's just a plank of wood, right, that I got at Lowe's. And then for 20 bucks, I bought these hairpin things. Look at, there's a failed thing underneath too. Um, I bought these hairpin things. And so voila, you have this mid-century modern table. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna scoot it back so you guys can see all of it. Is that better? No. That's better. All right? Okay. Here we go. So it's just a table. And so we've got this little lovely girl here. Let's turn the iron on. The, the lovely thing about iron on decoupage is you can do that. <laughs> Look right? Because when you do the regular de decoupage, once it's down, it's down, right? Yeah. And you're, 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 I don't know. That's probably why I, I ruined things. So this is the exact size of the table, if you can imagine. The exact huh. size. Like I don't even, I didn't even need to trim it. Um, so I just line it up. And then you get, um, not contact paper. Um, Seamus. David, can you come get Seamus? He wants to eat us. <laughs> he's such a bad, he's a little Yorkie and he's so bad. He wants to bite Maya right now. Yes. <laughs> so you just get, um, not contact paper, parchment paper, right? Okay. And if you have the big rolls, that's good. I just have these because I use these for all sorts of projects. Huh. And make sure your iron is on hot. It needs to be on hot, hot, hot. So I'm just going to kind of cover it. You know, I mean, sometimes I just move, you'll see, I just move these around with the iron too. Okay. Let's see if it's hot. It's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, Darn it. The iron's not hot. I might need my glasses. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, we got to talk for a few minutes while the iron gets hot. So, what are you guys up to in your group, Kara? Oh my gosh! So we are doing so much. Um, we are doing an intuitive painting challenge. Okay, tell me about and it. It was really cute because one of the one of the girls in the group actually came up with a challenge. She posted an article in the group and had everybody read it and. Everybody in the group is just like going for it. And so awesome. it's super that's fun. That's so exciting. That's, that's my favorite way to paint anyways. I yep. mean, you always do the florals. Yeah. And I mean, I love, I like doing the florals, but I really like abstract and intuitive. So did you do the challenge? I'm doing it, but I, yep. they're supposed to, you're supposed to paint every day on the one canvas. And I've made oh. This month painted 10 days on the one campus, so I'm way behind, but <laughs> I'm like, they're posting every day. So. Huh, that, that's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. It's super cool. Okay, it's hot now, I think. Does it feel yeah. real hot? Yeah, should I? <laughs> no, don't do it. Ooh. Is it hot? Yeah. Oh, it sizzled. Okay, so literally all you do is take this hot iron and you, know, you use your body weight. You want to press it well. And you will see in no time that when, you know, it's kind of easy when you have something that you have to put the, um, the paper on like that, you just get one section on and it's on. Huh. That's on and there's no wrinkles. I mean, that is on. And you, you can see if you need to iron it more, there, then there will be like the air, little, little air bubbles. And so, I mean, right where I was doing it, it's just on forever. It's good. And it's just like ironing your jeans. Do, well, was there not, jeans. What? Is there not a medium to make it adhere? Oh. 
I should have explained that, right? <laughs> yes. Like, this so, is magic. <laughs> it's magic. Paper just irons to wood, like magic. I was blown away. You never knew, huh? <laughs> Silly girl. Silly girl. Um, I painted three coats. And the reason why I painted three coats of um, liquid patina, DIY liquid patina, but I have used um, min wax. I've used, um, uh, what's the decoupage medium one? The Mod Podge? Yep. The reason why I did three coats is because this is a thicker paper. If it was like a tissue paper, I would probably just need to do two coats. But you want to okay. do, you know, really good coats, not thin coats, you know? Because you, you're just you're just getting, giving the paper something to cling on to, right? It's just melting. Uh -huh. That's on like without wrinkles. Is that crazy? You put the three coats on the table? Yes. Okay. On the table. So you paint, you paint the coats on the table and okay. then you let it dry completely, right? Yep. And then you just iron it, right? And you just go over it until there's no more bubbles, okay? But mm -hmm. here, I'm gonna tell you, this is the secret, you guys. It's not a secret. This is the thing that will freak you out. When you go to finish your table, okay, so after I do this, I'll finish it with the liquid patina or big top or wax or whatever. Especially if you do it with a liquid, you are going to paint that patina on or big top or min wax, polyacrylic, whatever you're using. All of it's fine. You're going to paint it on and it is going to wrinkle up something awful and you will freak out. I mean, I freaked out on this chair and I've done this so many times. I was just like, no, it didn't work. I ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> and then, you know, because it takes hours for the wrinkles to come out, but they come out on their own. Huh. I don't even understand it, but like it wrinkles up something awful, but they come out on their own. But see, I don't know if you can tell, there's no, where I've done it, there's no wrinkles. Yeah, it looks really smooth. Nothing. I mean, it's just on there, and then I'm just going to keep on going, and it'll be done. It would be easier if I had bigger pieces of paper, but um, I mean, I've even gone straight as long as my iron's playing like straight on the paper like this. It's no big deal. Just as long as you don't put the iron where you have straight onto the poly, mm -hmm. you know, wherever the poly is. Does that so then, question: If this was not a brand new plain piece of wood that you're doing it on. It's an old piece of furniture. What would you do? Do you need to do all the prep work to get off the original varnishes? Are they going to come through like they would if you're decoupaging or? No, I mean, I've done it. This was a brand new piece of wood, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've done it on all furniture, but I think the, you know, the two or three coats of the poly, I think yeah. that, that that seals all that stuff in pretty much, okay. you know? I've never, well, one time I had a problem with yellowing, but I think yeah. I used min wax and it pulled mm -hmm. the ink off the um, tissue paper. Okay. But I do it all the time. Where's that other piece? There's a piece in the corner that I did another tissue with, uh -huh. but it's so, I mean, it's, it's almost no fail and you, you know how like when you're decoupaging, you don't have a lot of time to get those wrinkles off and you start nope. freaking out? Yep. Like, I can just lift it and go, oh, there's some bubbles. Let me iron yep. those. No big deal. You know, I'm so relaxed right now, right? That's awesome. <laughs> I've been so stressed every time I'm decoupaging these papers because the humidity, the wind we have out here, it just dries as I'm going. You have to go incredibly fast. Yes. It was a nightmare. Yeah. And it's messy, and then you ruin yeah. it, and, and then you have to sand it all off. But, like, this yep. is, like, so easy. And I'm almost, I'm halfway down. I mean, I'd be faster, obviously, if I had one piece of paper. But, yeah. We are asking what size is the table. What size? Okay, so this table is 24 by 36. It's a piece of wood that I got at Lowe's just in the new wood department where you can buy tabletops and stuff. And then this... That the sheet from Nissa, from Bubblegum Yum, I should say, is um, also 24 by 36, and so it fits perfectly. So I was yeah. freaking out. But I'm gonna, you know, after I'm done, I'm gonna muck it up a little bit with some paint and some 
distressing yeah. and all of that. But I'm going to get you guys, once I finish, I'm going to get you close up so you can see how smooth it is. They are actually like the steps you did. Because the steps. some people, they don't understand. Oh, okay, the steps. Um, the steps are, step one, cover your piece of furniture, wherever you're going to put the decoupage, the paper, with two to three thick coats of a polyacrylic, which would be like big tops, liquid like patina. What's Dixie Bell's polyacrylic? Yeah. Do you know what I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, two or three nice thick coats, because you want to give it, it's just melting onto it, right? Uh, you want to give it something to grab to. Um, so step two is let that dry completely. Step three is take your parchment paper and iron it on. <laughs> <laughs> and I would let it dry, you know, I would let it cool off and then check it for any bubbles and then just iron right over those bubbles. And then, then the next step, after you let it cool off and dry, the corner doesn't want to stick, I probably didn't get enough polyacrylic on. Um, after you let it dry is that you put your top coat on and when you put your top coat on it is going to wrinkle awful it's like it's like the wax freak out factory right you think you ruined it but just trust the process and walk away and magically those wrinkles disappear i don't understand it i even have a science mind and i still don't understand it but um yeah that's it and you can, I mean, I've put wax on them. I've put, you know, finished it with polyacrylic. After I'm done with this, I can sand this. I can take some sandpaper to it and sand it to make it look more distressed, which that's what I'll be doing. Um, Are you going to sand it before you put your coat on? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna sand it and I may add some paint or maybe some Nissa splatters. Because <laughs> everything I have I not do, splattered in way too long. Everything I do has splatters on it. <laughs> everything. Myra doesn't like to come over here because I always throw throw paint at her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are asking what paper are you using when it is paper. Oh, okay. So this is um, it's just parchment paper, but these are like the parchment paper that they sell for hot dogs, um, and I just buy it on Amazon because I like it for crafts and you know I like it for everything but you can just use the parchment paper that you buy in a roll at the store or, you know all of that but there's one bubble down here I can see it so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll show you it's smooth it's like a baby's bottom yeah it's awesome So, Anissa, uh, I know probably most of the people here know you that's watching, but just in case there's no, nobody, do you want to tell them where they can get these? Um, Bubblegum Yum. So, we actually, it's on Shopify. So, it's like my Shopify dash Bubblegum Yum. But um, if you go to Facebook, it'll have Bubblegum Yum, and it'll have the link in there if you're wanting to order one. Okay. Uh, and if Heather's on here, she can post the link. Yeah, she already did. Oh, she did? Yes. Okay. Of course she did. <laughs> she no posted. surprise. No surprise. Heather is just, I'm just getting the edges because I just want to make sure they're down really good. And then I'm going to bring the camera really close so I can show you all. So, Kira, say you have a piece, like I did my decoupage paper on a buffet with some details on it. Not a lot, but some yeah. details. Yeah. So like say I'm putting it on this buffet right here. Yeah. How, I mean, there's no way to get it into the grooves and stuff like that, right? I'll show you. Okay. I got a special tool for that. Let me unplug that so I don't start sure. fire in my house. Two things is like when I have extra like um, there's one. It's a little iron. It's a little baby what? iron. <laughs> oh my gosh! I never made such a thing. <laughs> I know, right? 
Huh. So um, I, I used this on that chair because the chair had a dip in it and the yeah. iron was getting in that dip. So I was like just pressing it down. Um, the other thing that I have done in the past is I put my, like when it has the, when I did that cabinet, I don't know if you guys can see this cabinet over, sorry, as Myra, you should not want to see, there's a cabinet, where is it, where is it, I can't find it on the camera, well, that's my kitchen, it's so weird, you cannot figure out where you're looking, anyways, I'm going to do that to you guys, I'm going to make you sick, um, when I did that cabinet, I, I, I just took a paintbrush just around those edges and got it wet. And just where I couldn't get in there, I just put it in there and, and rubbed it on with my finger. So, okay. I mean, yeah, you might have to do a little bit of both if there's a lot of yeah. detail. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and I have done where I have, um, like there's a little bubble or something and I couldn't get it off. I've done, put a hair dry on it, on it and heated it up and just rubbed it with my finger. Okay. It's just That's amazing. Mm -hmm. but, okay, so you can see there's one bubble right here. So I'll just go right back over that with the iron. But it's smooth as silk. Yeah, it is. Isn't it pretty, you guys? It's so huh. pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to just sand this tomorrow and maybe splatter it up. Maybe add some dark wax around the edges. I am. I'm just blown away. I'm so mad I haven't been doing this <laughs> and I've been fighting. I'm telling you, laying it, you know, all the layers. When you do do it and you add the top coat on top, I want you to call me because you're going to freak out and I want to hear your language. <laughs> it's not going to be good. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, I mean, I did it today and I've done this probably 20 or 30 times and mm -hmm. I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go live and I'm sure yeah. that the bubbles are not there anymore. So, yeah. huh? That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for showing us. You are welcome. Thanks for coming on with me. I'm super, I'm, I'm very honored. Anytime. Anytime. Okay. I'll it gets me out of kid duty. Yeah, I know. I'll take you. I along. hate bedtime. Do you? Oh, I do. I do. I hate it. But I love the rest. I love breakfast, all those things. There's something about bedtime. You just don't <laughs> love. Well, you've got your. I always get them creeping up. Yeah, but if you had one, you would probably love it. Cause see, I always had one, right? So I wasn't juggling oh. kids, but yep. I've got four, so it's like yeah. you go to one room and then another one jets, and it's Imagine just chaos. Four. Monkeys. Imagine Myra, four, all different yeah. ages. I used to just say to save money or save money to save time with Pierce because I was working full time and going to school and have him, and I used to feed him his dinner while in whilst when he was a baby whilst in the bathtub <laughs> what? <laughs> that's I'm funny like, you know it kind of takes care of itself there if they're messy so there you I go was like, hey he's, Smart. he's fed and he's clean and now we can just enjoy the rest of the night so that was fun <laughs> didn't know that a long time ago yeah yeah all right okay so you guys if you have any questions go ahead and ask them here and we will answer them on the feed but thank you for coming and go get your bubble gum. Yeah. Anissa, thank you. Yep. Thanks for having me. I thanks miss everyone. You. I feel like I never get to see you. So I know. Nice. Ever. Okay. Bye. Bye, girl. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Renee. Two Renees. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Julie, Peggy, Tanya. Let's see, Tanya. Oh, you guys are all, all posting the links. I appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. Thank you, Vicki. You're welcome. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful Monday night. Bye, guys.